Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. It is quite possible that I am addicted to making these tiny little journals. This is another miniature journal that I put together while sitting on the couch in front of the gas logs and talking with Jason and just watching our favorite shows. Let's look at the outside of this. It's tied with a really pretty ribbon. It's got sort of the green, blue, sparkly look all along the edge of the ribbon and it's so soft. I used a small piece of this in the last miniature journal. But just looking at the outside, there's a large piece of upholstery trim. These little things here are pretty big. So, you know, if you want to try to lay it flat, it, it kind of rocks around. But that's okay because these journals to me are just purely decorative. They are meant to be held and enjoyed and just, they're so full of detail. There's a lot packed into a small space. You can see the dragonfly charm there. And then this is a pretty bead charm that... I think I bought this at the Scrap Exchange. Honestly, I've had it for a while and I don't exactly remember where it came from. And that's just on with a little safety pin. I might switch this out for a rusty safety pin. But for right now, let's go ahead and get into the journal. Honestly, this entire journal was inspired by just a few pieces of paper and fabric and trim that I had this holly hobby wrapping paper um i knew that i wanted to use these tiny little images so i cut out pieces of that wrapping paper just large enough to make book pages for this and the stickers here they came from the dollar tree uh, i just pulled off a few of the smallest ones to go throughout the journal and then this next page has got some pink paper that also was part of the inspiration for this book. And the more I looked around, the more I found that just kind of tied in with this. I might come back and stain this paper here. I think it would be pretty to stain it pink, maybe with some watercolor. And then this fabric, the really delicate small stripes in that very light green and pink. That was part of the inspiration. And I had some Susan Branch stickers. Uh, so those are included. It just feels like a friendship, holly hobby, um, cup of tea sort of journal. There is an old piece of paper from a vintage envelope that had a catalog mailed in it. I stamped a little bird there. And then you turn the page and we have this beautiful fancy paper. You can see all of the fibers in it, the gold fibers, really pretty with the butterfly. And then that's just some scrapbook paper over here. And then we turn the page and there is a large piece of mica. That is from Robin. I really love this mica. It's so beautiful. I just laid that down with some glue and it, it kind of ties in with the gold fibers. And then these are little flowers that I took off of a greeting card. I wasn't able to use the whole thing, but pulling off the flowers, I was able to reuse those and incorporate those into this uh, tiny little journal. And then there is another holly hobby. Oh my goodness, I love that one. She's picking daisies. I just stamped pretty here and there is a tiny little pocket made from some boho fabric and a piece of scrapbook paper that has the butterflies and that just sits in there. There's so much more that I could do to this journal. Even as I said about the last one, you could just keep adding things. So I may come back and glue a special word on the back of that. And then we turn the page and there is a pretty piece of wallpaper. Um, it's more detailed if you can see the whole thing, but that's just a small part and it's actually part of a large flower. There's just a strip of some really pretty fabric, another little bird stamped there. That's from a 2001 Stampin' Up stamp. And then here is one of the, one of the stickers now in a cottage built of lilacs and laughter i know the meaning of the words ever after and then it's got polka dots and moonbeams and then there is another holly hobby image i love this so much she's picking zinnias and there's a piece of the handmade paper that i made that this has a lot of pink throughout and then we turn the page and there is some really shiny scrapbook paper 
some eyelash trim right down the center that's just glued in place. There is one of the circles that I like to keep on my desk and it actually has bees on it. Really pretty. And more of that pink paper that sort of inspired the journal. There's another butterfly and then another uh, page I cut from the Holly Hobby wrapping paper. And then we turn the page again and more of the pink fancy paper and some more beautiful yarn that's just been glued down the center. There is a piece of an old uh, doily. It had heart shapes all over it, so I cut a few out. Uh, let's see. Going back to the front, there's one there as well that's glued over the top of where I sewed that ribbon on to make a closure. And then we have this pretty lace trim. I used some of this in the last journal. I don't know if you can see it, but there are three really pretty glass beads that I hand stitched onto that page. And then there's just part of a page. It's pretty crinkly paper. I actually stamped something that smeared and instead of fretting about it, I just tore the page down. I stamped the word friends, but it didn't take all the way. And honestly, I'm just not gonna worry about it. I think things like that are interesting. And then here is more of the paper from a vintage envelope and I stamped poppy post on top of that and another little, um, like a postmark, sewed some lace on there. And then we turned the page and, oh, I love that butterfly. That is from just a little, uh, it's from the American Museum of Natural History. It's just a little brochure that had the butterflies. So I cut this one out and put the, here's the scientific name, Paritis Arcus maybe is how you say that. But behind the butterfly are just several pieces of pretty scrapbook paper. And I stamped the word sweet here at the top. And then there is another butterfly from that same brochure. It's an owl butterfly. You can see the pretty scrapbook paper in the background. And then in the center, we have some iridescent scrapbook paper and another sticker on the road between the houses of friends grass does not grow so pretty i love that handwriting and there's just several layers there's a flower cut from a vintage napkin and then some pretty scrapbook paper and more scrapbook paper right in the center to cover up the thread where the journal was bound and this is just more layers uh, pretty scrapbook paper one of the stickers it says love you and there is a strip of fabric that I stitched some sequins on top of. And this page is just a page made from an old pillowcase, and that's the lace from the edge. And more of sort of a distressed paper, piece of scrapbook paper there. And I will definitely, again, probably come back and add some words to this. I stamped the word imagine. And then there are some pretty stickers that I came across at work. Uh, turning the page, we have the little couch again and a stamped beautiful face on this vellum so you can kind of see through. Well, that may not be actual vellum, but it's a transparent paper. I do have some, some real vellum that I want to be sharing some of that soon. More of the pretty lace. And then I love this little sticker that says beets. I know that it's not springtime. Here we are almost at Christmas and this journal feels so springy. It's got the garden images and the butterflies, but you know, when inspiration strikes and you have the materials, it's okay to just go ahead and make what you want to. More of that pretty pink paper and more of the stickers there. And a couple more of those stickers grungy paper and then there's just a beautiful piece of fabric i stamped an image here uh, just a beautiful face and i used the distress oxide in vintage photo to stamp that and it looked a bit too grungy so i came back with a karen dash watercolor pencil and just colored that in and added some water and i think it's really pretty the outer edge of this has got some upholstery trim. That's the piping that would go around the edge. So I just glued that over the outside of the page, the outer edge. And then this is cut from a paint chip. It says sweet as a peach. And we have this uh, label that pulled off of a vintage envelope. That's from 1992 and a strip of paper that has beautiful roses on it. That was from a wedding greeting card. 
and then more beautiful pink paper. I love this. That also came from a greeting card. I, that might have been a Mother's Day card, and I just cut a strip from that and glued it and then glued some of the pink paper on top of that. And more of those beautiful stickers. I love those. And then there is some of the uh, distressed sort of grungy paper again. It's actually vintage paper. And I stamped a grid on that with some uh, of this Peacock Feathers Distress Ink. And then this Dragonfly. It is so beautiful. That was cut from a greeting card. And I actually glued that on top of a little piece of screen that I stitched into place. And it felt like a dragonfly just landing on a screen door. Which is so much fun to do things like that. More pretty scrapbook paper. And then uh, that is glued on top of some trim. Vintage trim with some lace on it. And then we turn the page and there is a teapot from that Susan Branch sticker set. Another heart. And then we're at the back, and I just love this. There are still so many things I could do here. You can see the wing sticking up there. I may come back and paint the opposite side of that and add some glue and let it dry so that it's more stiff and doesn't get bent. But that is that little journal. I do love it. And I loved the last one, so now I've got these two little journals. Maybe I will make a whole shelf of these and create a little bookshelf for the mini journals. Well, thank you so much for watching. I will be back really soon. Bye for now.